Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, we did the whole murky changeling Clara uh, crowstone thing and got ourselves a sweet new infection. So it's 4.23 in the morning on day 7. So 5, 6, 7. I have a little bit more than 3 hours to go to the theater, visit the dead item shop, and maybe check on Murky. I don't know if that would go away at the morning. Uh, but I'm, again, I'm definitely going to go see him anyway. I want to check on them and make sure they're okay after the whole crowstone thing. I know for a fact that they are, given that I did the same thing last playthrough. But nonetheless, I want to check on them because, you know, they are our blood. So I'm going to head over here to the kids' place and buy a map of the infected districts for today. And then head over to Murky's place. Turns out the whole warehouse district is infected, so I actually need to give an immunity booster to not kid. I've noticed that I'm pretty sure some people have had higher immunities when I give them a tincture plus than others. I don't know if it's because of the person and what I suspect it is is maybe as the days go on, you you have kind of a losing battle with the immunity boosters, maybe? Like, maybe their base immunity goes down slightly with each day or something, so they never get up to quite as high of immunity as before. I'm not sure, but that's my best guess. Ooh, bread. I don't need food, though. I don't. I really don't need food. I should save anything I can trade with uh, trade to kids for schmouters. But I should also buy the fingernails from this person because they're extraordinarily cheap here. Yeah, I can get two fingernails for some marbles. Let's get the map for today. It's going to cost 12. Cost goes up each day. I could just give them an antibiotic. Or... An antibiotic or two basic tinctures. I'll give you two basic tinctures. So who's in trouble, huh? Oof. It's hitting this place hard. So I've already done these three now, but now I need to do Andre Stamaton and Saba. And... and Lara. Okay, there's also something I want to check out just outside of here. Um, I remembered that there was a cache somewhere here in the warehouse district, but I wasn't sure where. Uh, someone in a comment just kind of offhand mentioned there being a cache behind the Soul and a Halves place. So, uh, I guess it's back here? It's probably the same one that I was thinking about? Is it like here? Oh, it's probably here, isn't it? Yes. Uh, chalk. And let's mark that off. So I can erase this. And there we go. Another one down. Let's check on Marky. The plague bringer is here. Walking around. Are you angry with me? No, kiddo, of course I'm not. Will you forgive me? I'm not sure. I'll just stay here for a while, and then I'll come home. To our home. What is this place, Murky? Have you been living here long? Long? Always. This is, well, it's a boxcar. Broken, I guess. Useless. I used to dream that it had attached to a train while I slept, and I'd wake up and see the sea. Aren't you scared here alone? I'm not alone at all. Who is here with you, then? Guests visit sometimes. They're not my friends. No one is. But they play next to the boxcar, and I watch through a crack or from the roof. 
I also have Mother's Doll. You won't ever be alone anymore. It feels really nice to have Murky as my blood. Mother's Doll. That just made me think of the big wad of cotton that I found at my father's house and have had stored away for a while now. The thing that I have no idea what it's for. I've been kind of wondering if there's at some point an opportunity to like repair a doll. Maybe I could use that as stuffing. Maybe I could use these buttons to repair its eyes or whatever. But it just hasn't come up. You cleave, I tie. Holy shit. Can I get a good womp? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, that wasn't really a womp because, you know, I wasn't in sneak mode. Anyway, you cleave, I die. Uh, remember that I'm actually deliberately keeping the infection on board and listening to what it has to say just out of curiosity. Plus, it's actually advantageous to keep my high health right now before I take a schmouter and ruin it. Although I suppose once the panacea is done, I can just take that and then it won't hurt my health, I believe. But that's going to take a bit more time to, to do its thing. I think I just started brewing it before I left, and I think it was going to take about four hours. So for now, I'm just holding on to my health. You cleave, I tie. I cut. I'm the ripper. The plague ties things together. Yeah, okay. Not in a good way, though. Just headed into a clothes shop. Um, I want the thimble and the safety pin, definitely. My boots broke a little bit back. So let's buy new ones. Those are surprisingly cheap. Did something happen? Why are those so cheap now? Could have sworn they cost more before. Yeah, gloves are good. Wish they had a mask. Oh, and somebody suggested that I should read the description on each item of clothing carefully. See, I kind of just assumed that the clothing, all of it would just contribute to a general kind of ability to uh, withstand infection. Give you just kind of an immunity or, well, make it uh, make you more resilient to your immunity going down. I thought it all just kind of contributed to a pool of immunity resistance, but apparently each item of clothing does a very specific thing. Like gloves, I think, are specifically for touching things in infected districts, like opening up drawers. The factory recently began training TARS. When flesh fails, the owner of the Bull Enterprise, Fat Vlad, squeezes profit out of hide, too. Okay, that doesn't say anything. Uh... Ah, the short description does. Protective handwear perfect for opening unsafe drawers and doors. They even mentioned that you can actually tell which containers are infected and dirty by how they look. They apparently look a little bit different, kind of like spotted black. I did not know that. So that's for opening stuff. Uh, this offers protection against contaminated air, so that's general purpose protection. Protects against infections during contact. So that probably protects you against people touching you. And then I'm guessing the mask is probably for protecting you against when the plague breathes on you is how it's been described. Those clouds of black miasma. Yeah, that makes sense. What the hell's going on here? Oh. Hmm. Well, if I kill them, they're going to loot the body instantly. Oh, and now they're just going to get away. All right. Have fun. Oh, we got another bad boy over here, though. Fucker. 
Mark Nurchik. I'm him. Go ahead. Talk. Well, I... When he got started... All right, no use lying, is there? So here I am, confessing. We were robbing folks. Me and Kitty Cat, stilts, knives, all them. Then we wanted to rob that big city bachelor. See, northern gold mines. Ten years. Alexander Saborov? Aye. You've heard it all. I try to instill order. It's instrumental. And the outbreak? Outbreaks, earthquakes, the last judgment. It doesn't matter. Discipline must be maintained. People turn into animals. They need to be reined in. My wife... My sympathies for your wife. Last question. Heads or tails? Heads. Always heads. I expected nothing else. Still, you're free to leave. Andre Goffman? I'm his sister, Anna. He didn't wait for questioning. Shot himself. You won't punish the rest of us, will you? Noted. Next. Victoria Olgimskaya, 16. Or is it 15? Going today. Oh, good place. Right next to the town hall. Oh, I should keep a ear out for screaming babies. Obviously there were none here. I mean they're well actually I haven't been over to the the crude sprawl, so I guess they could be there. But these districts definitely won't have a baby, so if there's a baby, it's either here or one of these two places, and you can hear the babies for a long, long while. Hard to miss. Dead item shop. Ah, fellow traveler. Look what I have here. A curious thing. What's so curious about a common belt? Made from cow leather. Rather old. Passed on for three or four generations before it got to me. Worn down with a notched buckle. So many additional holes made in it. Guess the owner was starving. So many children set straight with this belt. Parental authority is unbroken. They have a special way of, yeah, yeah, we've heard all this before, and also I don't like you. Father never hit me. Yeah, uh-huh. Schmouter. I can probably get it too. And army rations, which I know from experience, don't satiate my hunger very much at all. Okay, bloody bandages. Broken ampules. Hell yes, give me that schmouter. Mm. Let's also get the bracelet. I can sell that for a good amount. And twirine? Sure. I can't believe I have two schmouters. I'm doing so good at collecting schmouters in this playthrough. Where do you want me to go, huh? Oh, that's got to be a cache. And one that I haven't been to before. That's really strange. This boat here. That boat isn't on my other map. This one. It's, it's not there. When did that appear? I mean, I won't complain. It's it's nice to have some coverage closer to the termitary. Oh, damn. We got two of these ashen-faced assholes. Ooh, this one fights back. Calm down. Nope. Ooh. Good stuff. Holy shit. I'm on fire. What if I drink water? <laughs> Am I okay? Uh, 
What's this? Awkward time for a cutscene. Oh, the official start of day seven in which new actors enter the stage and the old ones reveal themselves in unexpected ways. Anyway, uh, I'm kind of on fire. I also want to talk about that cutscene. Uh... Am I still on fire? I think I'm good? Alright, I seem to be good. So, that was an interesting cutscene. Everybody looking at Aglaia. And then Aglaia alone looking at everyone else. And I remember noting this in the last playthrough too, but... Her eyes look so strange for a second there. Almost cybernetic or robotic. And she does behave like a computer. Remember when she would be like, give me... 26 seconds to think. Also, what was that like paper tearing noise? It was like tearing paper or somebody cutting paper or something like that is what it sounded like to me. But then it just switched over to a Aglaia and I don't see any paper. Hmm. What does it mean? I feel very lucky that I didn't die from that firebomb. Holy shit. I mean, honestly, it would be pretty fair if the game just killed me for being caught on fire. Because, I mean, fair enough. Unless I jump into a river. I could easily see that killing me. Actually. Uh, oh, hi. I wanted to see if the uh, firebombers were still here. Artemy Bura. Well, Aglaia Lilich, a state inquisitor and commissar for critical emergencies, has arrived in town. She has chosen this cathedral as her base of operations. You've been invited to a meeting immediately. Hmm. You're not trying hard enough. How about stamping the state inquisitorial seal on your forehead? That would look official. Artemy Burach, no one cares what you want. The Inquisitor plans to solve the current crisis in under a day. The cows that bellow loudest give the least milk. No, what was the name, Bura? She's no cow. She's a wolf. Got it? Wipe the drool up, will you? Or did the Inquisitor appoint you her personal bootlicker? Immediately. Piss off. That's what I told him last time in the end, too. Piss off. Okay, so I don't think I really missed anything of significance in Act 3. Yeah, I really got, like, basically everything. Nice. New work is waiting for me at the hospital. Sudden evenings, kids gather at the station. Earth, after dark. Rivers of blood. Inquisitor. Alright, I don't know where the hell those fire bombers are. Let's get my reward. Wait a minute. Um. Can someone tell me why I'm not infected anymore? What the fuck? Did being set on fire cure my infection? I mean, I figured fire would kill the sand pest, but only if it burned 
like the entire body and I was dead. Have we found the cure for the sand pest? Just briefly catch everyone on fire and then put them out? Is this supposed to happen or is this a bug? I'll take it. Uh, huh. Oh, we've already switched over to coupons, haven't we? Good amount of stuff. Here to get coupons. What coupons? Mm-hmm. Sure. How many do you give me? Two? That might not even be enough to buy a fucking lemon. But, of course, I have my own that I stored away back at home. I want to eat a bunch of stuff, but... Uh, I don't actually have any water on me, so, like, toast would increase my thirst a lot. Smoked fish as well. The fresh fish won't, though. Nice. God, I'm doing so well. And... I just got mysteriously cured, so I don't even have to use the panacea or any of my two schmouters on me. My god. Where are those babies, huh? We've been bringing you babies. I don't, I don't see any babies. Time is slipping through our fingers. We must act now. I have to admit, this is the last thing I expected. I'm dead weight to her. I expected respect, or maybe loathing, but... She takes me for a useless dreamer. Assign me to take care of the town's corpses instead of any other thing I could be doing. No matter. Someone needs to do this job too. A doctor can't shy away from dirty work. What's wrong with our corpses? I need to solve the problem of mass graves once and for all. Oh, and we need to choose which part of the town to designate as the new graveyard because the old one currently refuses to entertain new guests. Refuses to entertain new guests? What do you mean? Do you know who manages the graveyard? A miner. The Cretans... Is it Cretan or Cretan? I think it's Cretan. The Cretans Sabarov assigned to be my helpers, my helpers, I'd like to emphasize, subordinates, stopped working because something is bothering the girl. I'm starting to think that brain atrophy is what's really killing this town. <laughs> Fuck you. I know her. Her name is Grace. I really couldn't care less. What matters is that right now we lack a place to bury the dead. Thoughts? You are, after all, a local. Do I want to deal with this a different way than I did before? Last time, I left the dead, but I just got Grace out of there because that huge concentration of dead was just seemingly going to kill Grace. She couldn't take it because she can hear all of their voices. But I left the dead there. I didn't burn them as one of the things I could have done. There was also that creepy rat who would be willing to deal with it, but I said no because they're creepy and I think that would end in something real bad. Hmm. I mean, I just got burned, and I think it cured my infection. Maybe cremation is a real, real good idea. I mean, I know they're already dead, but... Hmm. Cremation? Spot on, Burrah. If the morning report can be believed, the factory furnaces are spacious enough to solve our little problem. But the locals refuse to burn the dead. And if we generously call their babbling an argument, it always boils down to referencing that deranged girl. Wait, so that's the only reason the locals don't want to burn the dead is just specifically because of Grace? Hmm. <laughs> Look, I can't make heads or tails of what you want from me. From you? Oh, nothing. I was just sharing. From the local authorities, though, I want a lot. 
I want them to make sure that the burial business is supervised by someone a bit older than 15 and far more rational. I'll make sure it happens. Wait, M. Shen. Don't bother the girl. Perhaps I can talk sense into her. Yeah, I don't know if I want to deal with that in a different way. I'm not sure. Is there anybody down here, by the way? Nope. I got an infected person in the street here. Let's go ahead and help them out just to make sure the sand pest fun gets maxed out. Hey, buddy. I'll be your doctor for today. Uh, no, actually not that one. Let's use the Zier Plus first. The reason I'm doing that, by the way, is because the Zier Plus will improve my thirst. Whereas the Medrol will do either my hunger or my exhaustion. Thirst is obviously not that important. It's very easy to drink. It's a little bit harder to sleep or eat. So this one is of the least use to me. Nerves. Let's use one of these antibiotics. Which one's the best? Kidney? Liver? I think those are both on the same kind of tier. Oh, damn. That just single-handedly maxed out the fund. All right, cool. Hmm. We got another Bernie boy here. I almost want to pat him on the back because I think they cured my infection. But I'm still going to kill him. Womp. Womp. Oh, I missed. Ow. I think that's another one right there. Womp. good with punches. Ah, shit. They're gonna get away, aren't they? Unless that's a dead end. Uh, uh, there's a little opening there. Maybe I can catch him on this side? I don't know where they went. Whatever. It's not worth it. Let's go visit Lara. I need to give them an immunity booster. I want to see if they've made progress making this place into a shelter. Are there people here yet? Still no? You ever going to get the shelter off the ground? Yeah, like look at this, like her max immunity. After giving her, as far as I know, the best immunity booster I can, is not very high. It's at like 60% of the bar. Do you have any food for me by any chance? Not that I need it. Oh, I should sleep. Because my exhaustion is maxed out. Let's take a painkiller. Guess this one? Made from blood. Not the highest quality painkiller, but I assume it's higher quality than simple morphine. Hmm, cured my thirst a little bit. Two hours or three? Let's do three hours. Oh, this dream. Hello, Nara. I think that's them walking into the termitary. Oh, heck yeah, almost max health. Mm, I don't have anything to eat that's not going to ruin my thirst and I have nothing to drink. I think I still have some lockpicks here, yeah. Yeah, what the heck. I got the space from. I'll trade them to somebody. 
Can we talk? No. Ah, uh, this is where we're told about Anna Angel and drowning mice and of the burden and all that stuff. Okay. Let's see what our duty at the hospital is for today. I think this might be the one where we need to find all the people that aren't actually dead because there's just bodies piling up everywhere. Do you plan to work today, Doctor? Where's Reuben? No idea, Doctor. Asleep, I guess. I hope. He's dead tired. That's sadly more true than I ever thought possible. Been towing this whole hospital along on his own. I don't like this. A lot of patients died last night. They moaned for a while, and then they stopped. I guess some are still breathing. Nestling next to the corpses, twitching. Can't tell anymore. What? You've turned the hospital into a morgue. Don't raise your voice at me. It's a theater, not a hospital. And I'm a coal heaver, not a doctor. Okay. Find the living among the dead. Oh yeah, is there anything left for me? No. Oh, there's one back here. I wonder if it's randomized where they appear. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm free to autopsy the people here without it hurting my reputation. So I should probably get as many organs as I can. I actually kind of want painkillers quite a bit just for me to sleep, if nothing else, because I'm out of my own painkillers and I only have two morphines. So I'm going to want healthy organs for that. The Fucking hell. The hell did that come from? The body? Just from looking at it? Uh, let's actually try to get the best. Yeah, I'll leave the lower two organs. Oh. Right, I just... Hmm. For some reason, I was thinking these would be healthy organs. I don't know why. Of course, they're infected. That's why they died. So these aren't going to make any painkillers. <laughs> they're going to make antibiotics, which are still good. But yeah, getting a couple things and stacking a lot of them is probably the best way to go. And this Lancet is kind of amazing, so let's just keep doing it. It's not going to break anytime soon. Oh, I think that one... Yeah, that was healthy. Because not all the organs are always infected. Ooh, glad I moved. Yeah, that one's also healthy. There's probably some people up here that need to be helped. There's one. This is taking much longer than I'd like. I was taking so long that I just reloaded my game. <laughs> and I think I was just missing somebody outside of the theater. Because I found this person. They were probably there before I just missed them, I think. Okay. Done with my shift for today. Still a lot to do. See the Inquisitor. See Anna Angel. See Reuben. See Grace. Well, we're kind of close to Aglaya. I guess let's head there. 
Given my experience in the last playthrough, where every time I was desperate for a bandage, I just checked pharmacy after pharmacy and I could just never find any. Considering that I have quite a bit of money, actually a lot of money, my god, I have 12,000. And I also have a lot of inventory space. Let's actually stockpile bandages. I think that'd be good. Oh! Oh, pharmacies have the gauze masks, not clothes stores. That's why I was never able to find them. Eh. Eh. That's expensive. Still, I want to find all of the caches. Hmm. This time it's not pointing me to a cache, it's pointing me to Var's place. Why? Ah, oh, right. Everybody's lined up here. Trying to see a Goliath. Was Yara here in my last playthrough? Uh, well, I can't talk with him. Okay, well, let me have this conversation with everybody just to see if I missed anything, but I don't want to bore you with what I'm pretty sure is going to be a lot of the same. Right, just talked with everybody. Let's have a conversation with Aglaya. Let's be a smartass like before. Don't even bother opening your mouth. I know what you're thinking. Okay, well then interview's over. This will be a long conversation. It won't. You must pay complete attention. You don't need to tell the truth, but lying will have consequences. Ready? I'm just staring at their eyes and I'm wondering if they're going to do that weird thing they did before. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'd like to take a seat first. Looks like I'm in for something interesting. You know, even if I end up saying the same things I said before, it's still going to be fun to do because... Man, I love being a just... I love just being a pain in the ass for Aglaia. Are you that cynical, or that brave? You don't seem like a fool. I'm first and foremost exhausted. We've seen too much over the last week to be afraid of you. Let us start with a classic problem. Would you push an obnoxious fat man in front of a trolley to keep four children from being run over? This is not a problem, it's a provocation. I think I'm doing the exact same options as before so far. I see. Question two, soldiers are about to execute your two daughters. If you offer them one voluntarily, they will only shoot her. If you refuse to cooperate, they will shoot both. Mm. I have no daughters. Should we maybe get down to business? You are an intriguing man, Artemy Bura. Your speech has an unusual cadence to it. A rare thing indeed. But I, I believe I have now attuned myself to you. Do you know why I'm here? I can guess. I've been told you're well-versed in the local lore and medicine, with its unusual beliefs about the human body. I've been told you're working on a cure for the disease. And as there can be no cure, this is merely sabotage, am I correct? <laughs> I have made a cure a couple hours ago. I'm impressed. The coincidence is so perfect. It's uncanny. Burrah, you managed to surprise me. Did you test it? Okay, so this is new, because I had not made a panacea at this point. My last playthrough, I didn't make a panacea until day 10, because day 9 was when I went to Olongo, or the abattoir, and then when I came out, it was day 10. But here, I have the panacea, well, it's day 7, but I, I mean, I finished it on day 6, right? Wasn't it yesterday? Anyway, did you test it? I did. It works. A cure for the sand pest changes many things. Thousands of life and death questions, of which I am now interested in... Four. Now I need the recipe, and access to the ingredients. Show me. Which four lives are you concerned with? Burrah, are you mad? I don't believe you fully comprehend who I am or what's happening right now. Is that so? I don't care. What is this sample made of? 
Blood, mostly. Herbal tinctures, but those are secondary. We're lucky it's September. Twire's in bloom. Infected human blood? No, I don't know whose blood it is. If I didn't just hear you, Burrah, I'd assume you were trying to make fun of me. Allow me to reciprocate, then. Did you know that the whole ordeal with divining your fate is more than mere mystical nonsense? Your fate has been... amputated. I can tell that for certain. Perhaps. I don't really care. What do you mean? Are you that apathetic? Or is it that you simply don't understand how painful it is to remain a puppet in the hands of those more powerful than you? I act on what I believe is my duty. If someone tries to use my actions to their own ends, I don't care. You're a fool. Although, perhaps, you're not the fool here. Go. This conversation is over. So there will be more at some point. I'm looking forward to it. Don't give me cheek, Bura. I won't have it. You are here to report to me... Uh, you are to report to me here daily. Any more quips, or are we done? Mm, I've got more, but I think I can hold them back for a bit longer. See ya! As usual, I act first and think later. I've made a panacea, but from what? What blood was that? Whose blood was that? To cure the town, I'll need to figure that out. So that probably won't be figured out until we go to the abattoir, I'm guessing. Aglaia is busy, now's not the time to see her. There's lots of things connected to that, though. We have nowhere to bury the dead, yep. Wonder where Reuben is. Oh yeah, I can save here. Eh, takes too long to go up the stairs, I'm lazy. I had to try, right? It is the only time that I've ever seen that they appear outside of the theater. Maybe they are only immortal inside the theater. Outside there. Mark Mortel. That's a shitty joke. Well, actually I just took a stop at uh, Avion's place. The still water. Just so I could save, because I should really end the episode here and go to sleep. It's past midnight. <laughs> Uh, in real life, I mean. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm gonna go see why the town is calling me to Var's place. And then do a bunch of stuff over here with Anna Angel, Reuben, Grace, and... Oh, what is this? To gear the town, I'll need to figure that out. Oh, I... I didn't know there's actually a quest marker for that, so I need to go back to Shehan. Okay, that's very intriguing. Intriguing.